What's up, wrestling fans? Just wanted to remind everybody that uh, I I won't be uh, here tonight. Tomorrow night, it's Friday night. It's monetize this. Uh, that we'll be live tomorrow night. Monetize this. Uh, this is a short video. You know, nothing major to say. Uh, I made a video earlier. I put it out on Twitter. I've been asked about Road Dogs podcast. Um, it's been great. I really love his podcast called Oh You Didn't Know. Uh, check it out. Highly recommend it. I had a phenomenally fun time. Uh, put that on the review of the podcast. You'll have a phenomenally. Um, I'm still sick, so deal, you know I'm dealing with that. You'll have a phenomenally fun time listening to Road Dogs podcast. It's great. Um, Brian Myers make his NWA uh, debut. Good for him. And really, that's it's it's been a light news day for the most part. I think all anybody wanted to talk to me about today was Elon Musk uh, buying uh, buying um, Twitter. So that's really all anybody. <laughs> Wanted to say too much about. Um, by the way, anybody with the last name Musk is just a man, like 100% man, you know, at this point. So that's why Musk needs to buy Twitter so we can have a very manly person <clears throat> buy Twitter. Now, Twitter wants to silence almost anybody with an opposing opinion. Elon Musk, at least, he won't, you know, he'll only block that guy that's tracking his air flights. You know, that's it that we know of. It could be more, but that's so far that's one person that Musk will block. And there's just hundreds of thousands that Twitter will block. So I still think go with the lesser evil. You know what I mean? Um, but uh, that's that's it on that. Back, wrestling wise, you know, I, I there's really not too much else to say. Uh, you know, I was hoping to get some wrestling stories and news, you know, sent to me today that was valuable. And you know, there's some things out there, <clears throat> but you know, really, we're just waiting around here until Friday night uh, SmackDown. You know, to get into that. And, you know, Roman Reigns really was held back uh, this week quite a bit. So, you know, I'm expecting some some things to happen this Friday. I was surprised about the tag team title situation since Roman was like, bring me these belts, you know what I mean? And that, that sort of got delayed uh, the other night on Raw. So I don't quite, you know, fully 100% understand what the goal of that or the reason. I mean, I get it. It's a longer story. It's a buildup. But, I mean, I, I, I would have thought that it would have been solidified last Monday night for this Friday, but instead we're still going with that. So we'll see where that takes us, uh, where that leads us. Um, but tomorrow night we will do uh, uh, Friday night beat the clock. <clears throat> I'll monetize this. And hopefully be I'll, I'll be a little less sick uh, tomorrow, so I'll feel a little bit better, and uh, everything will, will go pretty smoothly for the shows. Um, <clears throat> happy birthday to Lita. It's Lita's birthday, four time, uh, four times women's champion. Still sick, so I'm gonna have to go have a freaking goddamn lozenge or whatever the hell they are. Um, brand new Stone Cold Steve Austin T-shirt, man, it is fire. Have you seen this Stone Cold Steve Austin T-shirt? This thing is nuts, bro. This T-shirt looks beautiful. Look at this brand new shirt. I wish I was making a couple of bucks off the advertising for it because. Man, I guarantee a few of you guys go to purchase it after seeing it here. And if I had a link for you, I'd give it to you so I could make a couple bucks. But damn, established June 23rd, 1996. My birthday is the 28th. In a different year, obviously. But in 1996, I was uh, 12 years old. So, man, it was hard to believe that I was 12 years old when Stone Cold, when the, you know, I mean, the beginning of that all happened. A lot of stuff with King of the Ring, man. A couple years later, Mankind go flying off the cell on my birthday on June 28th. I will never forget that. Uh, so many people um, over the house. Uh, birthday party. It was just one of the best birthday parties ever. The 1998 King of the Ring, as I turned 14 years old, was with all my friends. We're all watching wrestling. It was just a phenomenal night and a, and a phenomenal time. And, uh, man, have you guys seen Alexa Bliss's wedding photos? Unlike CM Punk, who would block you for sharing them forever, uh, they're up everywhere for you to see Alexa Bliss's wedding photos, and they are stunning. Like, it is beautiful. She is fire in that dress, bro. She is wildly unbelievable in that dress. Like, it's just beautiful. It's a beautiful wedding. It's it, like, makes you want to know them. It's so fun. Um, So that's how... That's how you know, devoid of wrestling news I am and feel at this moment. We're talking about somebody's wedding, you know, at this point. Um, and really, that's that's been about it. You know, again, like I said, I've been scrolling through the questions, and there's not very many 
good wrestling questions that I've got from anybody today. You know, there hasn't really been a lot of wrestling talk today. And that's why I just decided to go and listen to Road Dog's podcast, and uh, that was really great. It was a great, I mean, I knew it would be pretty, I did, it really comes down to who the co-host is or who the guy hosting it's going to be, you know, because it could have been, like, terrible, a terrible person. But the guy that's doing it with him is good, and I like him. He's a little hyped, but that's okay because you need that. So he's definitely hyped. He's definitely crazy, and I love it. And um, I just recommend you go listen to it. You get They did a great job, both of them. They should have more Twitter followers and more listens probably than they do um, because it's a gem. It really is a really good podcast. Like I'm telling you, you are going to enjoy it. So hopefully people pick up on it. I think it's Ryan Katz um, that does it with Road Dog. It's so great. Can't put it over enough. And I'll continue to because it's, it's, it's fire. It's one of those things, that it, if it makes you so interested in it, when they're talking about certain things that you want to listen to it while going and looking up the clips that they're talking about, that's how you know you've got something gold, man, because they're painting the picture so beautifully for you and fun that you want to go look it up. That's how you know you got fire, man. Um, and they do. So congrats on that. Um, but um, I got Don Tony podcast tonight, 10 p.m. I think we're live with it. And um, tomorrow night is Monetize This. And, uh, man, I love you guys all. Uh, excited about tonight. And I just got home, and there's a lot of things I got to go run and do before I get going. So I'm going to sign off here, and I'll see you guys live tomorrow night. Um, and um, I'm going to go take a, some kind of medicine so I can speak without stuttering like I am every two seconds with this sickness. <clears throat> and... um. That's about it. What if I, did I miss anything else? No, tomorrow night's monetize this, beat the clock. Uh, but if you guys want to support the show, man, um, if you want to support via uh, Super Thanks, feel free to drop it down below. This can be our fundraising video. I don't know. Drop it down below. If you want to support the show directly right now and not give 30% to Google, um, use my PayPal link, which is paypal.me slash Joe Cronin Show. paypal.me slash Joe Cronin Show. That's a private uh, dono. Um, or just become a patron on patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. Get access to thousands of podcasts that I've done that you may never have heard that are up right now on Patreon and get access to all the alerts whenever I go live and all the little behind-the-scenes stuff uh, you know that I put up on Patreon. But uh, if you can, tonight's the night to support the channel and support the show. Um, and PayPal is the best way to support. Some people ask me, like, what's the best way to, you know, should I do the super thanks or should I just pay? Like, what should I do? Well, I understand that PayPal kind of stinks because you don't get any, like, acknowledgement or accolades, right? Because it's private. But you can tell me if you want the shout out and I'll give you the shout out. Um, um, PayPal's awesome because when you're negative in the bank like I am, the money goes right to me, right to my bank, supports the show instantly, well, supports me instantly. Um, but if you do Super Chat, that's cool too, or Super Thanks down below. I just don't get it for 30 days. Um, but yeah, if you want to fund the show tonight and keep the lights on, literally, um, paypal.me slash Joe Cronin Show. Thanks so much. Glad you guys are listening to this. Sorry that I only delivered like this little eight minutes kind of update rambling video and there wasn't much uh, sauce here. But uh, we'll we'll get to it tomorrow and then tomorrow night uh, for Monetize This, hopefully. Um, and everybody else, um, I'll see you live, uh, Don Tony, uh, so you can get the sauce over there, you know, um, live. Come represent JCS Army. Thank you, guys, and I will catch you tomorrow, if not tonight, right now, probably in about 20 minutes. I, uh, been a, been a, I've always uh, been a listener, been a fan, and had a lot of respect for Don Tony, and I'll, I'll talk about more of that later um, and why. And uh, it's it's kind of an interesting little story, and I it's a it's a story uh, that repeats among a lot of people that I've listened to over the years. And uh, I'm glad to say he's in the category of the story. And by the story, I mean, you know, hearing someone for so long, you you have a certain image of what they are and look like, and then when you see them for the first time, it's a bit shocking. And I've got that kind of story there, uh, but I'll get into that later. 
Uh, leave a comment down below. Hit the like button and uh, follow me on Twitter at JCS Commentary. And again, Road Dogs Podcast is fire. Check it out. Give them some support. If you guys listen to Road Dogs Podcast, please tell them uh, Joe Cronin sent you. Tell Road Dog Joe Cronin sent you, and uh, you know, drop the JCS at at oh you didn't know or no, I'm sorry at you didn't know pod at you didn't know pod and um, Road Dogs of course uh, Twitter account which is. <clears throat> at Brian R. D. James on Twitter. So you obviously know that deal. It's his new Twitter. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.